All right, our next example, guys. Our next example is taking a look at uh, S times Q. And so we did Q times S in the first one. So we know that with normal multiplication, 2 times 3 gives me 6. 3 times 2 gives me 6. Part of why I made this our next example is to, to look at, do we get the same result the second time? Is matrix multiplication going to follow the same rules as normal multiplication? And so to that end, let's jot down S and Q. S is 2, 1, 0, negative 3, 6, 3. That's my S matrix. Q is 3, 2, 0, negative 3, 1, 1. Nine. First question should always be, can I multiply these two matrices together? Yes. Why? Three rows by two columns, and then two rows by three columns. Now, why do you, why do you, why do you say that tells me it's going to be different? Let them get it. It just does. All right. Check you know. Outside numbers. What my result's going to be a three by three, which, if I look back, when we did it with this, the result was this two by two. So already we know we're going to get a different result based on the order we multiply in. Also means that when we're dealing with matrices, order makes a big difference. We're going to have to really watch how we organize our work. Now, again, rows for the first one. Remember, we've talked rows by columns. So rows on the first one, columns on the second. The good news is these are all shorter clusters. So when I start to write out all the outcomes, so I do 2 times 3. So I'm going to go along row one, column one. So two times three plus, and now one times negative three. Now I've got to make sure I leave myself a lot of room because I'm going to end up with a three by three over here. So I need to make sure I account for that. I keep going out row one. I'm still working my way through row one first. So row one, column two. So that's going to be two times two. Plus one times one. And then finally, two times zero plus one times nine. So whatever the word is, there's going to be like, since there's three rows there, yeah, it's going to be outside number. Yeah. And then that's for the same one, too, right? Correct. So, and again, it's. It's like everything else. The, the arithmetic is easy. It's just getting the, the pattern down. So now I can shift in my result matrix. I'm now going to look at the row number two, which is made up of matching row two with column two. So row two is zero times three plus negative three times negative three. And then 0 times 2 plus, and then negative 3 times 1. And then finally, 0 times 0, well, that's nice, plus, and then negative 3 times 9. We're not going to do matrix division. Is there matrix division? There is not matrix division as such. We do multiply by inverses, but that's a ways down the road. So don't don't sweat that. Remember the pattern. Rows from the first matrix, columns from the second. And what I like to do with mine when I when I do this is actually put my finger on them. I'll show you here. I just finger finger and I trace. So zero times two, three, negative three times one. Three times zero, negative three times nine. Trace right along what I'm 
Did I? Oh, when I was up there at the board? Let's see. You mean here? Negative three to one. Oh! Negative three to. Oh, I did. Good eye. That's in row one, column one. I slid back into column one again. Row two, column one, right? There. Oh, you're right. I did have it right the first time. Hey, you're the one who said I got it wrong. Yeah, it's Friday. I'll go with that. Let's get this last guy up here. So I'm going to be doing six times three. Guys, plus three times negative three. You have to do this for all of them. Six times two plus, and then three times one. And this last one now is going to be six times zero. Plus, and now this last one is three times nine. Now there are some other things you can use to track your work, and that's why I caught it. Should have caught it when someone said that I might not have had it right. Notice if I look right down here. Negative three, negative three, negative three. Two, two, two. One, one, one. Zero, zero, zero. Because each of these guys, let's take this first column, is built of items from the column. So it's going to use those numbers. At the end of the day, when you do matrix multiplication, you should have everybody paired with everybody. It's just really, really drawn out distribution. Now comes the last bit of arithmetic, which is cleaning up my mess. So six. Yeah. Yeah. Six times zero plus three times nine. So six minus three, four plus one, zero plus nine, zero plus positive nine. What happened here? Did I lose a negative? Six plus negative three. Zero minus three. Zero minus 27. Uh, 18 minus nine. 12 plus three. And finally, zero plus 27. Now I can finally combine them all. And again, I'm taking my time with this extra step so you guys can see how this all evolves. So now I have 3, 5, 9, 9, negative 3, negative 27, gosh, 9, 15, and positive 27. There you go. Now, what's nice about this, too, is, again, I have a 3 by 3. It's what I predicted. 